Hello, sports fans. It's me, Sportsman Z, Bob Zolke. And we're here for game two of the Stanley Cup playoffs first round, where the Minnesota North Stars, our Minnesota North Stars, have a 1-0 game, uh, game lead over the Chicago Blackhawks. So let's get into the game and see if we can uh, win it all. Turn the sound down. And uh, so, yeah. Let's see if we can do it. And we got John Casey and Net this time, which is good to see. Because I forgot to check that. <clears throat> so, we're on the road for the second consecutive game. We won game one. So if we can win game two in Chicago, that would be huge for us. Um, and recapping, um, Seattle, or, uh, St. Louis won the other game from our division. So they'll advance to the next round. And we will be playing them if we win. And um, forget, I think in the other, there was two other uh, Western division I think two other, let me see here. I think there was two other Western Division games. But anyway, I think Calgary won one of them. So let me see here. Excuse me while I, uh, while I don't pay attention too much to the play-by-play -play because I'm trying to find out. Oh, there we go. Um, yeah, Calgary beat Edmonton, and uh, let's see, Brian Bellows has the option to intimidate Larmer. I'll say no. It's only 25%. He's going to get in there anyway, probably. Let's see what happens. And Casey makes the stop, and then I think covers it up. So, yeah, Edmund, or Calgary beat Edmonton, and L.A. beat Winnipeg. So those two will advance and play each other. Um, oh, a goalie penalty. God. All right, I'm going to make Jim Johnson serve it. And an extra minor? Man. All right, Alf Dolan's going to serve that. So now we got a, we're down five men to three. No, no, we're only down five to four. I don't know. I don't get it. We each have one shot, 1908, into the first period. And me being distracted doesn't help. So we're going to see if we can advance to play St. Louis. Um, and going up two games to nothing here would be huge in that endeavor. And Perry Berezin, again, this guy makes his way into every lineup. I don't know what's going on. But um, McKegney with a shot, and Tenorti has the puck. We're st still trying to kill off a penalty. So maybe the other penalty, it's possible the other penalty was an offsetting penalty. Alarmer inside for the shot on Casey. And that's going to be a save, too. And Berezin has the puck. And Larmer takes the puck away from him. And now Dirk Graham has the puck. 1650 left in the first period. And Prop gonna shoot from the outside. And that's a save by Belfour. And now Crichton has the puck. Adam Crichton with the puck. And what do we got? Madano has the option to intimidate. I'll say yes, but he probably won't. Couldn't dislodge the puck, so Steve Thomas is right on top of Casey for the shot. And the save by Casey, he's coming up big for us. He was huge in game one. 
I think we won game one. What was the score? Two to one? Maybe it was two to one. Or three to two, something like that. Doug Smale has the puck. And they, I guess they took the puck away and they failed to penetrate. So now we got Kurt Giles with the puck for us. 14.58 left in the first. And Bobby Smith has the option to intimidate Wilson. I'm going to say yes. Who knows if it'll work. It didn't. So Doug Wilson is inside shooting on Casey. And that's a save by Casey. And now Manson gets the rebound, and he's got a rebound shot. That's no good. But it is a save, and the left wing comes up with it for us. And the penalty's over. It was probably over a few seconds ago, but um, clearly it's over now. Um, they're out shooting us 6-2, to two, but it's still 0-0 zero, zero on the scoreboard. And Berezin inside. Berezin was the... Uh, he was one of the stars of last game. Yeah, we won 2-1 to one last game. Berezin had a goal, and I forget who else had it, but he had it when I moved ahead in the action. Um, but Berezin had, yeah, he had one of our goals, and it was from the outside, too. So Chelios has the puck right now. Dangerous guy to have the puck. And Alf Dolan has the option to intimidate Michelle Goulet. I'll say yes, even though, again, it probably won't work. And there's a penalty because I tried to do it. See, that's the lesson at home. Don't do that. And you only have a low chance of taking the puck away or taking the guy off the puck. You shouldn't try it. Oh, wait, I guess it was offsetting. I don't know. I guess it was offsetting penalties. They just took those guys out of play. So anyway, still 0-0 zero, zero here in Madonna with the puck. And Gagne is inside on top of Eddie the Eagle. And he scores! You like that? You like that? Gagne. Love it. And that's Gagne from Prop and Brian Glynn. And we have a one nothing lead in game two. This is pretty exciting, man. If we knock off Chicago, that would be great. That would be stupendous. And Brian Prop with the puck. And Graham from the outside. And that's a save by Casey. Casey, again, coming up huge for us. So we got Doug Smale with the puck. 12.03 left in the first period. We're being outshot 7-4, to four, but we're winning on the scoreboard 1-0. And uh, Tony McKegney has the puck for Chicago. And uh, select a player for the shot. I'm going to see. Yeah, Bobby Smith is good. I'll take that. I think they got, they knocked Smith off the puck, though. They did. And uh, Troy Murray now has the puck. So Berezin took the puck away. He's got an outside shot. We know Berezin's dangerous from the outside. History has shown that. And it's a save by Ed Belfour. And now Troy Murray has the puck back again. And, now, oh, man, inside shot for McGill right on top of Casey. And it's a save by Casey. And now we got Mark Tenorti with the puck. 9.48 left in the first. Again, I will zoom ahead at points in the game. There's a penalty, probably on him. Uh, it's offsetting. No, no, it isn't. No, it's on Chelios. So we got a power play for uh, two minutes 
And after that power play, I'll probably zoom ahead to like two minutes left in the first period. Trying again, trying to cut down on the time because I know it can be a little dry just watching, the, you know, back and forth here without watching it as real hockey. Someday somebody's going to invent a hockey game where you can actually see the guy skating on the ice, you know, kind of like EA Sports did with the NHL 90. I mean, if you had the graphics of NHL, even NHL 90, even the graphics of NHL 90, and you combine that with the, like, the realism that Strat supposedly shows, you would have a great computer game. Dirk Gran has the puck. And let's see, we got Gagne for the shot. Yeah, yeah, I guess we can go with Gagne. I mean, he's got the goal already this game, so. Uh, we're going to pass. We're going to pass with Gagne. Inside shot for left wing. So that's Bellows, and that was the guy I was going to originally think of giving it to. And he scores! Say what? We're up 2 nothing. I'm losing my voice, but we're up 2 nothing. We are kicking Chicago's butt. So, power play goal helped us out there. And now, of course, back to even strength because we scored, but we're up 2 nothing. And McKegney comes up with the puck. Outside shot only for them, I guess. No, for us, Doug Smale. Doug Smale with an outside shot. Took the puck away, and it's a save by Ed Belfour. And Presley with the puck. They're down two games of nothing. They can't afford this, man. They can't afford this. They're down two goals to nothing. And Duchesne with an outside shot for us, and saved by Belfour. It'd be great. Well, I would say it would be great to see his backup come in, but I think his backup may be uh, Hashik. So maybe not. And Dahlquist has the puck. And uh, Yanni. Yanni has an outside shot. No, Murray. Murray's going to try to uh, deflect it, and it's still a save by Casey. So uh, we're going to give the puck to Basil McRae because he's right across from an A penalty guy. Normally, you don't want to trust it. Well, it ended up being Bellows because we did a line change. Uh, Brian Bellows, intimidate option. I'll say yes, but I'll probably regret it. No, he couldn't take him off the puck, but there was no penalty. Larmer for an inside shot on Casey. And that's a save by Casey. Nice. But it's going to be a face-off to Casey's right because he covered it up. All right, I'm going to zoom ahead here. Game, quick play to one minute left in the first period. And we're still, we're still ahead 2 nothing, And a face-off to Casey's right. Only 49 seconds left in the first period. I'm going to give it to Gagne because he's across from an A and he's good with the puck. Good stick handler. And he's got the puck. And next. Uh, period's over. So we go into the second period up to nothing. We're being outshot 13 to 11, but we're up to nothing. And this is, it's starting to mirror the actual 
playoff run that Minnesota actually had this year because they went into the playoff, I think, as the lowest seeded team. Maybe offsetting penalties there. Uh, offsetting penalties with four on four, but um, they went into the playoffs in real life, the lowest seeded team, and they got all the way to the Stanley Cup final. So we're trying to repeat that here, and Kurt Giles has the puck. Uh, lose a puck inside shot with intimidation possibility. Um, Prop will try to intimidate Dirk Graham. I'll say yes. He couldn't get it loose, and Dirk Graham has an inside shot. And that's a save by Casey. Casey coming up big for us, man. He is coming up huge. And Doug Wilson has the puck. Great pass to Dirk Graham, who's inside on top of Casey. Goal. It's two to one. Well, let's hope that, that uh, it stays right there. Dirk Graham from Doug Wilson. And it's still four on four, so we'll go to the uh, face off at center ice. So that tightens things up a little bit. McKegney takes control. Uh, Gatan Duchesne has an outside shot option. I'm going to try to penetrate even though I shouldn't. And he, he failed to penetrate, of course. So Jocelyn Lemieux has the puck. And he's got an outside shot for the center, but he tried to penetrate and couldn't. So we're going to get the puck back. And that means that Wilkinson has the puck. And, of course, Wilkinson isn't listed as a possibility on our bench. I don't know. Maybe if you scroll down. I don't know. Doesn't look like it. So, I don't know how he's out. Again, I don't know how he's out there. If you watch past games, you know that Wilkinson appears on the ice, but he's not over here <clears throat> on the sidebar as a poss possible player. So... But again, the computer's doing that. It's up to the computer. I'm not going to question what he's doing. And you got, what is that, Bob McGill? Yep, Bob McGill with the puck. And we take the puck away, have an outside shot option. That's going to be Neil Wilkinson, the main man. And uh, I'm going to try to pass it, even though, again, I probably shouldn't. No, inside shot for left wing, center or left wing. Yeah, Broughton, he got the pass through. That's great, 35%, but didn't happen. No goal. Uh, Eddie Belfour made the save, and now um, Chris Chelios has the puck with 14.56 left in the second period. And Tenorti takes the puck away, and now he's got it. And maybe a penalty coincidentals. So, still five on five. And when you got Tenorti matched up with Chelios, that's going to happen. So, anyway, and, and if you were following along last time, uh, Boston advances in the East against Buffalo. And, again, this wasn't the East and the West, but this is just the terms I'm giving them for the tournament. And um, the Rangers advanced against Washington. Montreal advanced against Hartford, 
and Pittsburgh, or no, Philadelphia advanced against Pittsburgh. So it's going to be Philadelphia versus the Rangers in the second round over in the East and Montreal versus Boston. And with us, it's going to be L.A. in the West. It's going to be L.A. versus Calgary and either us or Minnesota against St. Louis. And we'll get a penalty, and it's going to be on us, it looks like. And it's a five-minute, two-minute, five-minute. Giles, Giles inside. It must be on them because we've got the puck. Or was there even a penalty? Yes, there was. Dave Manson, big surprise. So now we got a power play and a face-off to Eddie, Ed Belfour's left with 13-14 left in the game. Uh, let's see. Jim Johnson with an outside shot. He's going to pass it. Worked before. Let's see if it works again. Inside shot for center. Yes, it does. Dave Gagne inside. Goalie rating five is saved any forward. Dang. I was all ready to say we had a go another goal. So Jeremy Rennick has the puck. 13.09 left. He skates successfully, and he's going to have a breakaway. Breakaway shot for Rennick on top of Casey. And that's a save by Casey. And now Brian Glenn has the puck. He's got one of the assists on one of our goals today. Inside shot for center. That's uh, Gagne inside on Belfour. And it's going to be a save by Belfour and looks like a face-off to his left. Twelve twenty-eight left in the second period. We're up 2-1 to one and the shots are 15 apiece. And Bellows comes away with the puck. And he has an outside shot option. I'm going to try to penetrate with him. No, he'll pass it, and it's an inside shot for the right wing. We're getting lucky with these passes. Madonna inside, and it's a save by Belfour. So we got uh, rebound to any player. Um, I'm going to say Bellows. So rebound for Bellows. Let's go. Let's score it. No, it's a rebound. It's another rebound. And it's going to be a rebound shot for Glenn. And it's going to be a save, and then the left wing get, comes away with it for Chicago. 11.55 left in the game. Or not in the game, in the second period. Or second period, yeah. And Rennick skates with the puck successfully. And next action, 11.09 left. One second left in the penalty, too. And it's over now. So we're back at even strength, 9.48 left. We're out shooting them 18.15 and outscoring them 2-1, to one, but we have to, that's got to last for another period plus, another period and a half almost. Lemieux with an outside shot and Casey with the save. Basil McRae scoops up the puck. Yanni home free. Looks like he's got a... Does he? No. We got the puck. Dahlquist takes control of the puck with 846 left in the second. And Dolan has the option to intimidate Michel Goulet. I'll say yes, but it's unlikely to happen. And Goulet is inside shooting on Casey, and that's a save by Casey. Quick shot. Usually I'm used to it taking a couple seconds. 
So Madano comes away with the puck for us. There's 8.05 left in the second. We're still holding a slim 2-1 lead here in the second. Outside shot for left wing. And that is Brian Prop. I'm going to try to penetrate inside. Failed to penetrate. Big time. Stopped by Dirk Graham, and now Dirk Graham has the puck with 7.31 left. And we take the puck away and have an outside shot only, and that's Brian Prop. And that's a save by Belfour. And we're sending out all new lines. Presley now has the puck for Chicago. And now... Um, Paul Gillis has the puck for the Blackhawks. And now we've got it. Perry Barrison, our, our big man, Perry Barrison, has the puck. Outside shot for left wing. And the player penetrated, so they're going to have an inside shot with Gilbert. And it's a save by Casey. Casey comes up huge, man. That guy's been money for us. And he was money for them in the real uh, in the real playoffs, too. And Doug Wilson with the puck. Giles is plastered, so they've got it. Dave Manson has has the puck with 4.13 left in the second. And I'm going to take the uh, intimidation chance. And Rennick inside shooting on Casey, Jeremy Rennick, Ronick, whatever you want to call him. That's a save by Casey. So now Neil Wilkerson, the man who's not listed on our uh, Minnesota depth chart on the left-hand side of the screen, has the puck. Wilkinson has the option to intimidate at 85%. I'm going to definitely take that. And yes, he hammered Graham. So now Wilkinson has the puck back. And Dahlquist has an inside shot on Belfour, and it's a rebound. Let's hope we get it. Nope, looks like we're not. And uh, so Bob McGill has it for Chicago. We're out shooting them 20 to 19 and outscoring them 2 to 1 with 2.30 left in the second period. And Smale, Smale with an inside shot. Nice. But that's going to be a save, and the left wing comes up with it. And McKegney has it. Minute 48 left. Uh, Gatan Duchesne for the shot. Uh, I'll go with, yeah, I'll go with that. I mean, I always give it to Bobby Smith, but he has been letting us down lately. And he lost the puck, so Jocelyn Lemieux has it for Chicago. Outside shot for left wing. Looks like we took it away. No, no, we didn't. So, uh, Mike Craig has the puck for us. And they, they tried to get inside, and they failed. So looks like McCray will come away with the puck. Or on a line change, Bellows. Penalty on Larmer, possibly. Yeah, Larmer, two minutes. Nice. 
and the period's over. So we're going to have a two-minute penalty to start out this second period. And we're up a man. Up a man with 20 minutes left with a, with a one-goal lead. Uh, select player to get the pet to get the puck. I'm going to say Madano because he's across from a B. I mean, really, so was Bellows, but we'll go with Madano. And Johnson with an outside shot. And that's going to be a save by Belfour. Rennick, successful skate. At least he didn't get a breakaway this time. Stick handling, avoids a check. Failed skate, though. So we may have the puck back. In fact, we should get the puck back. And uh, Madonna with a with a shot, yeah, he's yeah, we'll go with Madonna. And we're gonna try to penetrate with him. Failed to penetrate, man, with a one to thirteen, that stings. All right, so they get the puck back. Nineteen thirty one left in the game. We're holding on to the slim one goal lead, two to one, which was the score, the final score of game one. And Rennick with the puck, failed skate. So we're gonna get the puck back. Uh, player for the shot, Gagne, I'll go with Gagne. He's already got one goal this game. Let's go with, uh, Trying to get him another one. I'll pass it with him. Um, select player, Bellows. All right, Bellows inside on Ed Belfort. Come on, we need a goal right here. We need a rebound. And they get it back. So Dirk Graham has the puck for Chicago with 19.10 left. Fail, no, he's successful skate. 26 seconds left in the penalty. And he successfully skated again. So looks like they're going to pretty much kill this penalty off. And they do, and now Larmer has the puck for Chicago. They're still down two to one. We take the puck away though and have an outside shot. And that's Bellows with the outside shot. We need to score here pretty soon. I would be a lot more confident if we got another goal right now. So Chelios has the puck. Twenty-five percent. Let's go for it. Can't knock him off the puck. So Goulet is inside on Casey. And that's a rebound. And any offensive player. So Rennick's going to take the rebound shot. And that's going to be a save, and the left wing comes up with it. Casey coming up huge for us again. And Madano splits the defense and has an inside shot on Belfour. But it's going to be a save, and their left defenseman will come away with the puck. So that is Conroy. Steve Conroy has it. Outside shot for center. Oh, no. Outside shot for their center. Crichton is inside, shooting on Casey. Goalie rating two is save any defensive player. And I'm going to give it to Gagne because he's across from an A.
Now, of course, the bad part of giving it to an A penalty guy or a guy, someone across from an A penalty is, and they got another penalty maybe? Yeah, so we got another power play. The downside to that is that it's usually a guy who is really good at intimidation and can knock someone off the puck. And if they don't happen to get the penalty, they're going to take your guy off the puck. So you do have a downside there. But we have Yanni taking control of the puck off the faceoff. We still have a two-shot um, lead and a one-goal lead. And Dolan with the outside shot. Seven is a is a lose to the right wing. So the right wing has a puck for Chicago. That's Larmer. And he successfully skates to kill time. Only a minute two left in the penalty now. And he successfully skates again. And now he'll have to try to get rid of it or do something with it. And the penalty's over. And Conroy has the puck with 13.25 left. We're clinging to a one-goal lead, 2-1. Two to one. And Jim Johnson comes away with the puck. Looks like Tenorti might have it. Yeah, he's got it. Dumped into the corner and bellows, or prop, prop. Yeah, I'll give it to prop. And prop with the outside shot. And that's going to be a save, and the defensive center will come away with the puck for Chicago. And that's Crichton. Adam Crichton with the puck, 11.31 left. And Gagne takes the puck away, has an inside shot, and it's a save by Belfour. And it would be great if we could hold on. I mean, it would be awesome. We'd go up two games to nothing, and I would love our chances. Brian Glenn, because then we're going back to Minnesota. Penalty on them, probably. Yes, Dave Manson. See, again, that's the thing. That's the downfall with Chicago. They're a better team. They have better players, but they'll spend a lot more time in the penalty box. And that's where our advantage is against them. Uh, player, select a player to get the puck. I'm going to say Glenn. Yeah, I'm going to say Glenn because he's across from an A. And Jim Johnson, he hits Jim Johnson with a pass, and he has an outside shot. That's going to be a save and the right defenseman for Chicago coming away with it. Half a period left, friends. Half a period left. And Chelios with the puck. Failed to skate. So we're going to have the puck. And Mike Madano, yeah, I'll take it, give it to Madano. I can see that. Madano, I'm going to pass with him. Inside shot for left wing. And what happened? All right, next action. They got it back. 
So I guess Chelios knocked him off the puck. Failed to skate, though, so we're going to get the puck back. Uh, player for the shot, Gagne, yeah, I mean, he's got our one of our goals here, so let's give it to him. Um, I'm going to try to penetrate with him. He passes the puck, though, and it's an inside shot for the center. And it, it, Bellows got it, but he was dumped to the ice. So now Chicago has the puck inside shot for left wing. Inside shot for Bellows. That's what that means. And it's going to be a save and the right wing comes away with the puck. Dirt Graham with it. 928 left in the game. 102 left in the penalty to Manson. And we got a two to one lead. And they successfully skated with the puck. And they successfully skated with the puck. And there's going to be a breakaway for Dirk Graham. And that's going to be a save any. And I'll give it to Glenn again because he's across from an A. But the penalty to Manson is over. And now that's Tenorti because of a line change. 8-16 left. We're out shooting them 28-23. And we have a 2-1 goal lead. Lose puck to the opponent. So we've got the puck back. M Michelle Goulet lost the puck. So Dolan with control, 7.33 left in the game, outside shot for left wing. And that's Bellows. And he's going to, I'm going to try to penetrate. Because we really, and he got inside. We really need another goal. Bellows inside on top of Bellows, on top of, yeah, is that a goal? No. No, that was a goal one to three, so that wasn't really that high. So a face off to Belfour's left. Still got that one goal lead though, man. Seven thirty three left, and Madonna with an outside sh or no Tenorti, Tenorti with an outside shot. I'm just gonna shoot it. I'm just shooting. I'm just gonna throw rubber at the net now. And that's going to be a save, and the right wing comes up with it. So Dirk Graham has it. 6.56 left. Time is running out for Chicago here in game two. And Gagne inside took the puck away from Chelios. Goalie rating, five. Save, and he bent forward. So they give it to Steve Thomas. He's got it with 6.33 left in the game. And 75% uh, intimidation on Jim Johnson. I'm taking that. And a bruising, crushing hit. That's good because now Kurt Giles has it. 5.52. Now we just want to, like, really kill the clock. That's all we really want to do. Don't need another goal. We just want to kill the clock. Kurt Giles has the puck. Possible penalty. No penalty. And Doug Wilson has the puck with 439 left. We're coming right down to it now. And Giles has the puck, so we've got control with 4.06 left in the, in the game. Outside shot for any player. And the player penetrated, that's going to be Goulet. 
Goulet with an inside shot on Casey. He has to come up big again, and he does. Rebound. Nice save. And left defenseman if he's a three, and he is, and that's Doug Wilson. And that's going to be a goalie rating and an eight, which is a face-off. Awesome. Casey is unbelievable. So face-off to Casey's right. We still got the one goal lead with four minutes left. And Tenorti's going to have the puck. Nice. 333 left in the game. It's almost um, Eddie the Eagle exit time for Chicago. Brian Prop, yeah, I'm going to take it. I'm going to give it to Brian Prop. That's a good suggestion. And Brian Props inside. And that's going to be a save by Ed Bell. And Dirk Graham has it. 3.06 left. Time is really ticking down now. Chelios rushes up and grabs the puck, and he has an outside shot. And that's going to be a save by Casey. And Bobby Smith has possession, 222 left now. They've really got to consider getting Belfour out of there. Outside shot only, and for that's for Paul Gillis. And a save by Casey. And Bobby Smith comes away with it. And Jeremy Roenick has it, but there's 118 left, and I still see Belfour out there in his net. Crazy. And now Neil Broughton has it, and there's 41 seconds left. I can smell a win. I can smell a two-game-to-nothing lead. How about you? Oh, no. It's an outside shot by Goulet. Seven, that's going to be a save. Left defenseman comes away with it for Minnesota, for us. For the good guys. And Glenn has it with 41 seconds left. And now with 12 seconds left. And there's a penalty on them. So that's not even going to be good for them at all. And that's it. We won. Nice. We win 2-1. to one. We go up two games to nothing in this series against Chicago. The stars of the game, of course, John Casey was the first star. Dave Gagne was the second star, and Brian Bellows was the third star. And we have a two games to nothing lead on Chicago. This is unreal. But that's it for me for right now. Sportsman Z, Bob Zolke signing off. Next game will be in Minnesota.